Since you are watching this video, I guess your computer is running with an issue here as you are trying to open a program recently installed. This uh, uh, program can start because dcdx 9 rs code25.dll is missing from my computer. It's a fairly common issue and all you need to do is pause this video patiently and follow that matter on your computer. Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I will be fixing this error for world version of Windows. So let's begin. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for dtdx and underscore25.dll. You can choose any reason. I'm choosing the first one. This is not sponsored, but I'll put the link in the description. Here you can see if you download option based on architecture and version. To know your architecture and version, click on start and search for system information. Here you can see my 64 bit and I'm updated to the recent Windows update, so I'll be downloading the first one. I strongly recommend you to read this page, it has other fixing method also. As the download complete, hit open. The The download file has two files, one is a DLL and the other one is readme. In order to move the DLL, first open this PC, then new volume C, Windows and find a folder named System32. This is the home of 32-bit DLLs, then drag the DLL and draw. I have already done this, so it is asking me to replace. And click on continue to give administrator access. Before we go ahead, let's check by typing the file name. You can see the file is properly placed in 32 bit folder. Drop it down for 32 bit users, you can go and restart your computer. Only if you are a 64 bit user like me. We need to do a little more, open this PC, local disk C, Windows, and this time, find the folder name syswall64. This is the host 64 DLLs, and similarly, drag and drop. Check this once again. By typing the file name, you can see the file is placed in 64 bit folder 2. So, the job is done. And finally, restart your computer. In extremely rare cases, if the error still occurs, you need to download and install Microsoft DirectX from Microsoft official website and install your program again, and that will surely fix it. And that's all. If you follow me step by step, you'll no longer have that problems left. Please let me know how you feel about this video. And do not forget to like and subscribe.